Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Tactical Talks. All right, guys, so I know it's not Friday, but I didn't put out a Tactical Talks video for you guys last Friday. So I wanted to put something together. This is kind of real quick, something that I thought would be cool for you guys to check out. Um, I've got a lot of new subscribers because of the last video I put out on my outer vest and my duty belt. So I wanted to keep this cop related so that you guys could check this out. So if you guys see this today, then Happy New Year. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter what day you see it. Happy New Year. But let's get right into this. This video is going to be about apps that I use while I'm at work as a police officer. All right, guys. So this is my iPhone. This is what I carry with me all the time. As you guys can tell, I have a bunch, bunch of apps. Um, I got asked to do a what's on my phone video, and that would probably take really, really long. So what we are going to do is go over my law enforcement apps, and I know this is going to be a little bit hard to see, and I apologize for that. But these are the apps that I use while I'm at work that I thought you guys should check out, whether you're already an officer or you're thinking about becoming an officer. So the first one for me is called Texas Laws. Um, I know it's hard to focus. There we go. It's called Texas Laws. Now, I don't use this for every everything. What I'll do is it has the penal code. It's got travel code. It's got everything. So what I'll do is I'll usually search an offense. Once I've found that offense, then I'll find where in the book it is. Then I can refer back to my book and go straight to that page rather than having to flip through pages of uh, you know trying to find an actual offense. Now, I know the ones that I use on a, I guess a daily basis or weekly, monthly basis that we use often, but there's some of them that do come up that we just don't know, or I don't know all the time. And I like to, to double check all the elements on it before I'm gonna go with something like that. So this just makes it easier for me to search different offenses. Um, and like I said, find out what I'm going with. The next one that I used is called 1021. Now, if you guys are already officers, this is gonna work for you guys perfectly. All you have to do is register this with your department, send them your credentials, your email, all that stuff. And what happens is you can use this to call people while you're working without it coming back to your phone number. So what happens is they generate a phone number in your area with your area code so that the calls don't come up blocked because nowadays most people don't answer calls if they are blocked. So with this 1021 app, you can make a phone call. It'll come up with the local number, better chance of people answering so that you can talk to them. But like I said, it doesn't give them your personal phone number. Now, another thing that it does do is that number that you called from, they can call that number back. And what happens is it says on their, on their end, you know, the officer that you were trying to reach cannot be reached at this moment, but he will be notified. And then at that point, you'll get a notification showing, hey, a person at this phone number is trying to reach you. And then you can call them back at that point. Again, you don't have to give out your personal number. The next one that I used, um, it's called pill identifier very easy very simple a lot of times when we're out working whether or not we're looking for drugs sometimes you find pills on people and there are so many pills out there you don't know if it's an illegal drug or is it something that's prescribed to them and sometimes people put you know different pills in different prescription bottles and stuff like that because they know that we don't just know off the top of our head what all of these pills are so what you can do is go into here you can search by the shape, by the color, or even the markings that are on each pill. And let's just click on one. So there you go. That one's hydrocodone. Um, if that's what it looks like, you can match up the pill that you have, um, that you found, to the one that's here. And like I said, if that's the one, then you know that's, that's what it is. At that point, what you can do is uh, go back to your Texas Laws app or whatever your state is. And you can search that drug and find the penalty group for it. So that's that's a really handy one, really good uh, app to have. The next one that I'm gonna show you guys is Translate. And I know most of you know what it is already, or you know, all of you guys have heard of it. Let me get out of this. Um, you guys have heard of it, you know what it is, but so many times you come up on a situation where not everybody speaks English, especially down here in Texas. A lot of people speak Spanish. Even though I am Hispanic, I, my Spanish isn't the greatest. So I can speak enough to get me by, but there's certain technical and legal terms that I just never learned growing up 
so I just go back to this you can select you know from English to Spanish or you know whatever languages you're doing the next thing you can do is speak so what that have what that does is you can speak in English and it'll translate it to whatever language that you have selected um, and there's also a really cool feature excuse me there's also a really cool feature where you can use your camera and take a picture of something um, and then from there it'll translate you know from whatever language that is to whatever language you're trying to get it to now the very last one I know this is gonna be somewhat of a short video these are just my favorite apps that I use while I'm working is Waze now this app has gotten a lot of bad reviews or has this bad stigma around it because people are like you know oh now you know where the cops are and now you know this and now you know that um, but the thing about Waze is as an officer you want to be able to, to go in there and in bigger areas in my area it's a lot smaller so not a lot of people are using this app so with that being said there's not a lot of officers being pinpointed on where they're sitting whether it's they're doing a traffic operation or if they're just sitting typing reports here people aren't really pinpointing where they are but if you are an officer and you want to stay vigilant you can go on that Waze app and you can search on there to see if somebody has pinpointed your location if you've been sitting somewhere for a while now if they have that doesn't mean that you have to move but that just means that you need to be aware of the fact that anybody who has that app now knows that you are sitting there unfortunately nowadays there's so many situations on the news and different things like that that are going on that people are targeting police officers so if you know that there is literally a pin at your location showing somebody where to find you then maybe it's time to move move around you know stuff like that the next thing that you can do with that app and I'm not gonna open it up because it's showing my location right now is you can use this as a GPS now my department just moved to a new system so the GPS isn't what we are used to it's not horrible but it could be better so in, in instances where I just can't remember where I'm going or if I get sent to a different part of town that I'm not used to going to I can use this I can press the microphone I can say the address and it'll start giving me a route on how to get there and keep me hands-free while I'm in the car so that I can worry about driving and paying attention to the call so that's that if you guys want me to do a full-on what's on my iPhone let me know I may do another one on what I use to edit videos because a lot of my videos whether or not you guys know this are done on my phone um, I record on phones I've edited on my phones and I've uploaded on phones so a lot of my content does come straight here off my phone so if that's something that you guys want to see let me know thank you guys for watching thank you to all my new subscribers if you're not subscribed subscribe below make sure to check the links in the description so you guys can get more content from me Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll see you on the next one.